Hello friends, in the previous videos we have learned about extrude and revolve. The function of extrude is to add material linearly to a 2D sketch and the function of revolve is to add material symmetrically along any axis. Now, in this video you will learn about swift. Now swift is the tool in which the sketch is extended along any part. For example, this 2D sketch is converted into this 3D pipe. The circle is followed on the path. And the second example, rectangle is followed on the path. Now we will see how to draw it practically in Creo Parametric. This is your path modeling window. Now we will create one sketch. Click on the sketch, select the plane on which you want to draw the sketch. I have created this sketch, adding fillets to the corner and then click OK. This is your random sketch. Now you want to make follow circle on this path. Select this whip command, select the references sketch and to draw the sketch section, click on this icon, create or edit whip section. When you click on this option, you can draw the sketch over here. I will draw on the intersection one circle and then click OK. Press Ctrl D to see into isometric view. Now you can see that the section is followed along the path. Similar options of creating into surface, you can toggle the surface. If you want to keep it as solid and give thickness, you can give thickness from this option. Enter the value of thickness. If you want to keep this off, click here again and click OK. In this way, you can use sweep command. Now, if you want to edit the section, you want to change the section into rectangle, click on this sweep, right click on it, select edit definition, select the section, create or edit sweep section. Select the circle, delete and create rectangle in front of and create rectangle click OK press Ctrl V in this way you can edit the sweep section in the next video you will learn about Creo Parametric part modeling sweep cut Thank you for watching this video. For learning Creo Parametric, subscribe my channel. For any queries, email me at bluespark79 at the gmail.com.